We should be lucky. Alright, whoops. Let's get this show on the road here. Alright. Uh, we don't All need right, that whoops. anymore. Okay. Alright, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, I was just looking through some other people's videos and Unimundi came up with an interesting one about R2-D2. Uh, he thought that R2 looked quite different. I agree. Here's some images of R2. Um, people in his comments are saying that they don't remember these blue stripes. I definitely don't. There was like dials there, silver dials. Um, they don't remember all this blue on the arms and not that much on the top. I agree. I just, I don't remember all that stuff. Uh, I just, this one looks like kind of plasticky and fake. Uh, I don't remember this, this weird stuff here at all, this brown. But what I really don't remember, and I haven't seen anybody mention this yet, is I don't remember all this white. I remember him as being a silvery color, more like the head. Um, it was silvery, a little bit tarnished, but it was not white. It wasn't painted. It was like old scungy metal. So this whole thing looks like a plastic fake R2-D2 to me. It, it, everything in there looks plastic. It's not metal. Um, so I don't know, freaking me out. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but uh, that's not my R2. But I think I had a big shift on, let's see, what day was that? Sunday. I felt terrible on Sunday. And I'm starting to get recovered from that, but I felt really bad on Sunday. And I think it was a hard shift for me. And there's a lot of, a number of people um, on Retcon have said that uh, my login name changed for them. Now, this is something that happened about a year ago. A lot of people said my login name changed by one letter. And then every now and then there'll be another shift and another four or five people will say, oh, your login name changed. And I'm like, dude, it changed like a year ago, but, but not for them. Well, it's, yesterday somebody said that it actually flip-flopped for them. It went one way and then it, now it's back. So um, it's just weird because from my perspective, it has never changed. So anyway, so yeah, I think we had a hard shift and R2-D2 is really showing it. I don't know if you guys recognize that R2 because I don't. Let's see what we got here. The thing to the right of his eye was in the middle. You know, I just can't remember all the things, but I don't remember any of this, and I don't remember any of this blue stuff. He had a little bit of blue on the head. Um, I I'm, I'm, think I'm missing some lights up here. I think there was a red one. These plug-in things, I, I don't recognize those. And I don't know if it's just because they're ringed with blue and they're white now. If they had been silver, maybe that would have been all right. But didn't have the orange tubes at the feet. Yeah, I don't recognize. I, I think that's brown. But let's see, over here they're red. Uh, it's like a plastic R2-D2, I swear. Like, oh, I think that's a, supposed to be a clock see what we got here. Okay, so they're... I got them in different colors. There's the red light I remember. I don't remember this blue. Let's see if we can find one from the show. Okay, there's the red light, but see, I don't remember this blue. And I don't remember it being a solid red like that. It was like a little bit red um, and very pinpointy, not like a, a panel of red. Uh, yeah, see, I don't remember those either. Uh, those aren't right. Even in the original, it doesn't look right. The other thing some people said is they don't remember the arms that high. I don't remember them quite this bulky in the shoulder region. I, I, I think they might have been a little, little lower, but I cannot swear to that one. So anyway, a good find for Unimundi. Definitely go over there. And uh, check out his channel. He has a lot of good MEs. Um, some of them are, are also unique ones. I haven't, for instance, this one I haven't heard before. So definitely want to give him a thumbs up. Okay, so next one.
this one is kind of, it was kind of a joking thing uh, that was said by Heart's Truth. Uh, next thing you know, there'll be city penguins. So I looked it up, and you know what? There already are city penguins. And she was kind of responding to my, uh, my um, desert penguins video. So this is interesting. I guess penguins all over the world are strolling down the street now. Their reasons for their sudden appearance are pretty clear. On the mainland, large predators had previously discouraged wandering pen penguins from making themselves at home, but increasing urbanization along the coast meant fewer predators, and an opening appeared for the penguins. So apparently they're doing quite well in the city. They've adapted well. Versions of the same story being played out in cities around the world. So anyways, uh, penguins are strolling down the city. I first saw one of these maybe four or five years ago. Uh, a woman in Japan had somehow adopted a wild penguin and trained it to walk to the store with a little satchel around its neck with money in it. And the penguin would walk up to the store owner and the store owner would take the money and put a fish back in its place. And then the, I think he actually fed the fish to the bird and then the bird would walk home. So I thought that was pretty weird at the time, but I thought, well, maybe, you know, Japan's cold enough that the penguin could survive. Um, didn't really think about it, but I guess, uh, yeah, they're, they're hanging out in cities everywhere. Yeah. City penguins, Shari D city penguins. Um, they're saying they adapt real well to the city. Their distinctive braying calls echoing across town. These are African penguins here. Okay. So let's see what we got. Something about a Nikola Tesla video I came across. Brian McFarland made a video. I'll have to check that out. I wonder if his beeps have changed like bird calls. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Let's just see. R2D2 beeps. Yeah, I'm going to freak out if those are different. Let's see. I think I have this set so you'll hear it. But you know what? I can't hear it, so wait. Sounds about right to me. About right to me. All right, we'll go with that one. As I, I don't see anything different in that one. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. This one. I got the city penguins. I got you. All right. Bird fish caught in China. This is by comment or excited banana. Excited banana who commented on my channel. Uh, this is kind of a weird one. I, I wasn't 100% sure this is real. It could be animatronic uh, because I never see the body move, but I see the head kind of breathing. So supposedly this is a malformed carp is what a so-called so expert said. Um, but its face is kind of bent around, so it looks like a bird beak. But there is video of it, so let's play the video. I've killed the sound since it's all in Chinese anyway. Doink. But you could see it breathing there. I mean, it's not the best video in the world. What I don't get is, first of all, it breathes kind of regularly. Um, I, whenever I've caught fish, they kind of breathe some and then stop breathing and then breathe. I mean, they don't usually suck their mouth really uh, constant like that. And they usually, if they're breathing, they will usually flip around and stuff. So 
so, I mean, I'm not sure if this is real or if somebody's just done some kind of animatronic thing with the mouth here. So, anyways, that's enough of that. Let's see if I can get back on that one. Okay, so there's that guy. But what that thing looks like to me is it looks like this. They Somebody said it was a malformed carp. So I looked up Chinese carp, and it looks a lot like this one. If you can see the, the head bent around, it might look like a bird. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I mean, even if this is fake, I just noticed that uh, there's been a lot of weird malformations in humans and animals, a lot more than normal. There's a lot of weird, really creepy skin diseases um, that make people look just like aliens, and um, just a lot of these I've never seen before. So I don't even want to show all of them because some of them are just really creepy. This is actually a lot less creepy. But uh, I thought that I would just show this one because I think they're just going to see more and more stuff like this. Whether this one's real or not almost doesn't matter. Okay, so anyways, not too much there. Oh, which is the button? Okay, here. Okay, this one is one I've noticed myself. I've seen a lot of weird spellings with um, what used to be just an E is becoming an A-E. So this one kind of describes the current timeline. Ever wonder why encyclopedia is sometimes spelled encyclopedia? A E and I guess that A that's supposed to be A E instead of E, and uh, it's weird for me because to me it was always encyclopedia, and apparently this is A sound encyclopedia. Um, I've never saw that spelling until about two years ago, and it's sneaking into a lot of words. Uh, one of them is the word pedophilia, which unfortunately we're hearing that word often. Now supposedly. Encyclopedia Britannica has always been Encyclopedia Britannica. And, and no, 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 no. I mean, if you look at this uh, here, this close-up on this, it says Encyclopedia Britannica on there. We actually used to have a set of these, and it was not A-E. There is no freaking way that it was A-E. Um, anesthesia is Anastasia. Um, there was a couple other ones. I'm just I've been seeing it sneak up into everything. So so this one's saying that this goes back a long way and that it was from the Greek and then we kind of got on the out of the habit of using it, but then there was some kind of a Greek revival like quite a long time ago, so people started using it again. And they're also saying that that we use it because of Encyclopedia Encyclopedia Britannica has always been that using that word which is no. So supposedly this AE thing is, is some is, okay, I'm going to just read it because I don't really understand it beyond what it says. AE is technically called an ash. It makes a noise like an ah and fast. So that would be encyclopedia, past. It's very hard for me to say it. It's what linguistics types calls a ligature or two letters joined together. Now, I've heard a bit about that just the last few months, but I, I did not hear about that before. Take a look at the ash in action in this first passage, the Old English Beowulf. To be honest, I don't even remember reading that even in Old English that much. I Maybe it was there, I don't know, but we we never used it in current English ever in my own timeline. Um, words that used A included after, ever, either, I don't know. But encyclopedia isn't an old English word, how it's spelled. In fact, though, encyclopedia sounds like an old word. It has origins in 16th century, not ancient Rome. 
Uh, anyway, so that just it's just something really weird I've been seeing. Keep an eye out for that. It just seems like those are on the on the rise quite a bit. Shari D, this is and was not a part of Alphabet, or am I wrong? Shari D, I, I can't quite figure it out, but I've been seeing this spelling everywhere. This encyclopedia, and like in, in modern articles, articles supposedly written in just the last few years, um, pedophilia is being spelled with the A-E, pedophilia, encyclopedia. There was one other one, Let's see if I can remember what. It had written that. Somewhere on here, I have too many. Oh, aesthetics. Um, the word aesthetics is aesthetics now. Yeah, that was the other one, aesthetics. A lot of spelling changes. But anyway, I've never saw A-E, and I, there's at least three, four words now that they're using it semi-regularly in, in new writing. So I, I don't know, is it in the dictionary or not? They're putting it in articles. Okay, so anyway, that one's weird. Encyclopedia. Um, this is an older Emmy. Armadillos. I mean, I had armadillos, and they rolled up in a ball, but they didn't lo roll up into, like, a football. And they also weren't so fuzzy underneath. I don't know if you can see up here, but this one is really fuzzy. But this, I saw this a couple years ago, and I, I thought it was an Emmy ever since I saw it. And I'm just going to run over it again because uh, the way this thing rolls up, is just hilarious. So it gets startled. And boink. Just turns into like a little football or something. Um, mine could roll up before, but not completely like that. Not completely self-contained. So anyway, you can pick this thing up and it's just like a ball. So anyway, um, that's an Emmy for me. I don't know if it is for everybody else. Um, I've also just kind of was looking at this really quick earlier, and um, they're furry now underneath. Grab some sunshine. Commercial. I'm trying to get at this thumbnail. I don't know if I'll see it. Oh, see, look, he's all curled up. Now, they didn't curl up that tight for me. Now, look, see how furry he is underneath? They weren't furry like that before. They just were scaly. They didn't have. They're a lot cuter now. I mean, they almost look unreal to me. But also, they were just gray. They weren't kind of like a yellow green color for me. So anyway, another one for me. It's like Sam moves from Metroid. Yeah, you know, first comes the video game or the movie, and then you get the animal. And then, you know what, after that happens is that the skeptics tell you, oh, well, what do you think that video game was named after? Like, if you saw my recent one about the, the jawbone inside the regular mouth of the, um, of the uh, what do you call those things, the moray eels, um, now they're saying, oh, that's, that's how Alien was inspired. It was inspired by this, this moray eel. But, I mean, that moray eel didn't have that when Alien was written. So just wait. Oh, Samu's the Metroid was inspired by these armadillos. That's what they're going to tell you. Like, I've noticed that a lot of, um, of the, uh, what are the Pokemon creatures... A lot of the the actual animals that we're getting now look like Pokemon, but the, now the skeptics are saying, well, of course, because Pokemon was modeled after the real animals. So, very sneaky. They only used to curve about half. Exactly. They could kind of 
they kind of would slink down and they would be in their burrow and there would be the ground on the bottom and you couldn't really get them out of the burrow. So they were fairly protected, but they didn't like roll into like a football like that. There's just no way. Eva, the classical composer Packle Bell was named Pack Bell in my timeline, I'm certain. Uh, sorry, I can't help you with that one. I just don't know a lot about the classical composers. I mean, if Mozart changes, I could help you, but um, I don't know. I, I'm more of a listener than a, a than an actual fangirl on a lot of music. I just I know the songs, but I don't really pay a lot of attention to about who sings them. Okay, so anyway, that one is done. Okay, now this one uh, is interesting. I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, Jason, what's his name? Jason Christopher, I think it is. Yeah. We haven't done that one. Um, he had seen an image that they were showing of Mars, and it wasn't clearly of Mars. I think it was this one, but they had sent out a thing and they were talking about Mars and how Mars might have had ancient life. And they they pasted this image onto the news release. And he kind of flipped out because look at the color of the sky. It's blue. And I have never seen a blue sky that was supposed to be from Mars. So he assumed immediately that they made a mistake and that they forgot their red filter. Um, I guess he goes by the assumption that NASA is faking it all. I, I'm just not sure. I mean, I, I'm not saying I trust NASA, but I don't know, you know, how much is fake and how much is real and how much is ME. And so he he made that assumption from from his perspective. That was the likely assumption. Um, and when I looked into it, because I was really curious too, um, and the original news release, it was not clear that they were talking that this image was supposed to be from Mars because it could be. They're saying that Mars could have once been like Earth. So if you say that, then this image could be something from like Earth or from Mars. Now this clearly looks like Earth to me. I just assumed it was an Earth image and that they had used it a bit to depict what ancient Mars would look like. So I thought that at first, um, and I didn't find the origin of this image at first. And if you see, I commented on his uh, channel to that effect, but I started looking more, and I don't know if you remember a previous live stream, I had said that the planet Mars, to me, is to be being depicted a lot less red than I remember. Well, now I'm looking at these images, and these, these, this image is, in fact, supposed to be from modern Mars, and it has a blue sky, and so do a lot of others. Um, this is supposed to, I typed in view from Kimberly formation Mars, and um, a whole bunch of stuff from there has this same blue, blueish sky. Now you will still see some images that show it's not red like I remember, but um, more just dusty. It, it, this is not the red that I remember at all. If you look at the old movies of the Martian movies, they were a lot more red. This almost just looks like a, a dust storm on Earth. I mean, it really just looks like Earth now. And the old images, I mean, it's it's more dust colored than red. It's more yellow, the sky now, there. This one again, supposed to be um, an amazing NASA Curiosity view from Kimberly again, blue again. Another blue one. I mean, the red, the red, red images that I used, this is about as close as it gets. And this would have been light in my old timeline. Look at that, even that is much more orange. So something's going on with that. A lot of the planets are getting this one. I don't think this is for Mars. Oh, and I'm gonna get a check and see if that blue one's for Mars. 
Mars is, and a lot of the planets and moons are just getting, they're getting water. They're getting, uh, in this case, blue skies. Ooh, I think that's supposed to be from Mars there. It's just, it's way less red now. Way less red. Just looks like Earth now. I guess those are supposed to be black and whites. Look at that. I mean, that that does not look like another planet at all now. This is taken by Curiosity's mass cam. Is the Bagnol Dunes where the Namib Dune can be found. Look at how blue that is. Now, I had read mm, a couple months ago, they were saying, oh, the Mars is not that red. It just looks red because of all the dust in the atmosphere. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's not even looking red here. Okay, here's that image again. So anyways, yeah, I think red Mars is, uh, is leaving. I think we're going to get Earth-like Mars now. I always said Mars was bigger than me, Venus. To me, Mars was very close in size to Earth, but now Venus is. That's the change for me. Mars was our closest relative back then, size-wise, climate-wise, but it looks like Venus is getting to be more like that now. There have been slightly blue sky on Mars photos for a few years for me, but I think they are fake anyway. Yeah, no, it's pretty new for me. I, uh, at least a year or two ago it was red. Never blue sky and was much bigger to me, yeah. It was very red. I think at least a year ago or less it was very red. It was once called Red Planet for some reason. Yeah, it really doesn't even look red now. It's very orange, yellow, Get the blue sky now. Mars did steal our North Pole. Dead GP, is that, was that, who said that? Who stole, yeah, Mars did not have uh, poles, polar ice caps for me originally. And then uh, they snuck in there, and then they were, at first they were frozen uh, carbon dioxide, but now they're mostly water. I mean, they've got clouds on Mars now, vapor clouds, like water vapor clouds, so. Has Mars still have the South Pole cap, or is it gone now? Now, Mars has it. I never had it in my old timeline, Paul, but it, it has it now. I think they're getting Earth-like over there. It's all just NASA cartoons anyway. I just don't know. I mean, I, I just wonder if a whole bunch of it's fake or maybe they really think they're seeing that. I mean, I've seen things change here and then people swear it's always been that way. So the people at NASA may believe what they're seeing. I, I don't know. I mean, just because it's fake doesn't mean that a human is trying to fake it. And um, on the other hand, maybe they are. But a, a, a lot, the ones that I've spoke to really seem to believe the whole storyline. I have not met any NASA people that, um, that I think are faking it. I think that everyone that I've met really believes their shtick, uh, what they're told, and they don't doubt it. That's all I can say. I'm, I don't know beyond that. I mean, maybe it is all fake. I don't know. It used to be a big white red ball with no poles or anything else. Yes, exactly, Shari D. Exactly. That's how it was for me. There were no polar. God, those polar ice caps look so weird to me. Let's see. Mars. Doink. Images. See, look at how orange it's getting now. This one still shows a little bit of the red, but not like it used to be. This is more accurate here. This is more like I remember it.
And also this one is more, but the sky is not red enough anymore. It's weird because a lot of them don't show the polar ice caps, but they're supposed to be there. It's showing some of the clouds. Anyway, weird business. Okay, so beyond that, there was another um, news thing, and that's uh, NASA finds ancient organic material, mysterious methane on Mars. This has been kind of developing for a while, but they're saying that they found the building blocks of life and that are usually associated with organic material, but could potentially be ha have been created by other means. And they've said there's seasonal methane releases, so that indicates potential of life. So I think we're right around the corner from them announcing that they found something. Uh, they're, they're preparing the way. I think we're going to hear that, they're, that they're, uh, they found something. There's kind of a... There's, there's a lot of Emmys that flip around, but this one, they seem to be heading in the same direction regularly on this one. They are all CGI, CGI, not real images, Kit Harner. You know, Kurt, I, I just, I don't know. A lot of the Emmy changes look like CGI. Like, uh, for instance, one of my friends has an image of um, some of the, you know, those guys with the puffy hats in, in the UK, the, I think it's the, called the Queen's Guard. Uh, those hats have changed. Uh, they used to be higher up here, and now they come come really low. And the, the strap used to be more here, and now, now it's up here. And she had an image of that guy, and... Um, that she had gone to England and that was sitting in her living room. And I've seen it so many times because it's been there for like 10 years in her living room. So every time I visit, I see it. And uh, they, the guy had the puffy hat. And now when I saw that the puffy hats changed, I was dying to go visit her again in her living room because sometimes we just meet outside at restaurants and stuff to see that, that image, what it looked like. And when I went over there, finally, the uh, the outfit the guy's wearing is now totally different. He's not a puffy hat guy anymore. It's some other um, military outfit from there that I don't really know a lot about. So it's all changed, and and it looks fake. I mean, if you look at it, it looks like it was photoshopped. Now, I know that my friend did not photoshop that image. To her, it's the same image it always was. But a lot of these Emmy changes, they look fake. They look photoshopped in. They just don't look natural. And so when I see the NASA images looking photoshopped, I don't know if it's really some guy, you know, some human like me or you sneakily photoshopping things for NASA or if it's the Emmy that did it. I really do not know that. There is a movie called The Red Planet with Gary Sneezy, and everything was red in it. Yes, exactly. In the movies, they were super red. Um, you know, we should probably just check that, the Red Planet, Gary Sneezy, and see what we find to see if it's still red. Because there's no guarantee. Images. We have some outside images. Still fairly red. Um, gosh. It's definitely more red than you're seeing. This is not as red as I remember the actual planet being, though. Not quite. Same image. Yeah, no. That is not... I saw bits of that movie. This is The Martian. Oh, that does not look like any movie I've seen. They've all been really red. It, you know, the Emmy might have got to the movies, too. This is better. But look at that dirt. I don't, I don't, 
I don't think any of this, this is close here. This is close to what I remember. Like this. That's, that's about right for me. But a lot of those images, no. You go to a site, they actually call them CGI. Now what they say is that they've got multiple cameras that took multiple images and that they um, put the images together to get a more complete picture. So um, that's what they say for a lot of these photos. They do sometimes have animated stuff and they call it CGI. But those are photos, so they're supposed to be photos actually out of actual cameras. Charles, uh, now the Mars picture with the blue sky. Yeah, we were just discussing that. I don't know if you were here, but um, basically all, about three quarters of the images of Mars show a blue sky now. So it's not a mistake. Um, that's what the sky of Mars is now being depicted as. I, I know that Jason Christopher assumed it was a mistake. That was a logical assumption, considering that he ne probably never saw a blue sky on Mars. I never did either. I actually just assumed it was an image from Earth um, because the the news release they were setting out said Mars used to be like Earth is their argument. So I thought, oh, they just they just lifted a picture of Earth, but nope, that's uh, that's what Mars looks like now. It, it's it's not a mistake because two thirds of the images have that. So um, you know whether all of those images are all fake that's open for question, but it wasn't a mistake. They say CGI composite, it all boils down to manipulated or just created. Yep, yeah, you don't know. Um, CGI, you usually use that for moving stuff. So if it's photos, you would say it's Photoshopped or something like that, even if you're not using Photoshop. But All right, so anyways, red planet is looking a bit less red. It's going to be the orange planet. And then maybe after that, it'll be the yellow planet. Look at how yellow all that looks. Look at that. I mean, that dirt that just looks like earth dirt now. Oh, it looks like some kind of weird fake claims. Westward view atop a low plateau where it's been. Look at that. It looks kind of greenish. I don't know, whatever. I could go on all day about that. Okay, there's the next one. Right, bizarre animal of the week: the green spoon worm. Let's see if we can get this to load. Okay, this is what it looks like. Uh, what's weird about it? Okay, Let's see if I can do it from memory. The green spoon worm. The larvae have no sex. They they don't. They're not male. They're not female. And it's not determined. Their sex is not determined by their chromosomes. I don't think I've ever really heard heard that exactly like said exactly like that. I do remember the last four or five years they've been saying that uh, temperature determines the sex of the eggs of alligators. So maybe that's the first I've heard of that. But So these guys are born without any determined sex and they develop and the ones that land on the ground and don't have any other one touching them develop into these large females. And the ones that land on the ground and touch a large female um, are exposed to the skin surface of the female, turn into males. And they're really tiny, like little things compared to the females. They don't grow big at all. And then they're sort of uh, incorporated into the female. This has been a big thing I've been seeing lately where little males are incorporated into the female. So let's see. The female spoon worm produces a vivid green pigment in her skin called bonellin. And although this chemical is highly toxic to most other organisms, it plays a significant role in the worm's sexual differentiation. 
free swimming larvae of the species are initially sexually indifferent. Their sex is only chosen when they fall to the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so if, uh, if one of the larvae touches a female, it turns into a tiny male. He is sucked into the giant female's body via her feeding tubes. It is there that the male spends the remainder of his life living as a parasite within her genital sac, producing sperm to fertilize her eggs. Since the majority of the male's tiny body is taken up in, by his reproductive organs and is devoid of any other structures, he must absorb any nutrients he needs directly from the female herself. This pattern here I'm seeing a lot lately. I never heard of it before a few years ago. But basically the, the, the whole tiny males as just a sperm sac thing. Um, it's weird. But anyway, so that's another example of those. Or one, you know, chill out a little bit about uh, lecturing everybody because they are entitled to their own opinions. I mean, I have my opinions, but I can't prove any of them. So all I can tell people is what I remember from before. I, I really can't tell anybody what's fact now. Okay, so anyway, Bizarre Creature of the Week, Green Spoonworm. There's, there's going to be a lot of those. I think you're going to find a lot of those weird, weird sexual things. Let's see. Green Spoonworms, that's page one. Uh, all right, this one is a less pleasant one even than the Spoonworms. Okay, I've heard of these funnel web spiders, but the story now is that um, not only are they really deadly poisonous, but they can bite through your shoe leather and even fingernails. Even a dry bite can cause bleeding. So it used to be you put your shoes on, you're safe from spiders, but these suckers apparently bite a lot harder in this timeline. The most dangerous teeth in the world. Let's see where it says it. I know it said it in a bunch of articles. Let's see. Can pierce through shoe leather and fingernails. Even a dry bite can cause bleeding. A maximal dose can cause muscle spasm, unconsciousness, unconsciousness and death. So anyways, uh, watch out for those creepy funnel spiders. They're pretty big too. Let's see if I can find an image of those guys. They had an image where a guy was taking care of one, and they're they're pretty big spiders. This is a creepy one. Supposedly, there one made a web in this guy's shoe. That's why I wear flip flops. You can at least see what's on there. Another one that's weird for me because I've never heard of it. I just ran onto it here by mistake. Uh, where I just saw you. Oh, here's the guy. See, that's a pretty big spider. He's poking it with this little pipette here. The other one, I just saw you. It's that wolf spider with the, the babies on its back. Now, in my old timeline, spiders laid eggs. But in this timeline... Wolf spiders, which are a pretty common spider, carry their babies on their back. So what that means is if you have one of these little suckers around and you smack it, then 10 kajillion babies pour off its back and just go psh everywhere. And I would never heard of that. I think it's a little older, Emmy, though, because uh, a couple years ago, my friend actually encountered one of these, and she flipped out. Because she thought she killed a spider, and then in her eyes, what she saw was the spider dissolving into millions of baby spiders. And she thought, she actually was afraid she had hallucinated um, this thing. 
so she actually was freaking out and then she looked online and it, it said that spiders do this but this was just a couple years ago i don't think this happened way back i don't think this is what they did way back let me see if i can find a, a video of them doing it Bad wolf spiders scatter off mother's back. Get past this video, this commercial here. Yep. You can imagine you smack a spider and then it turns into billions and billions of tiny spiders. That would not be cool. That is a lot of spiders. Can you imagine all those in the house? Anyway, so be careful you don't smack a wolf spider. You better catch that whole thing. I swear each week you see how far you can push the creepy factor. Yeah, I don't know why those things always fascinated me. But um, believe me, I've seen, I see worse things. And I don't put them on the video because they're just, they're too creepy. And I might do one video with a bunch of the worst stuff on it. Um, coming up. I've been kind of saving them. I don't want to put them on the regular videos um, because I want to put them as uh, age restricted. So I want to put all the age restricted on one. If you age restrict, then the, um, the video is very low in the search rankings. And so not a lot of people find it, which is one of the reasons. And also that way people can just not look at it um, and have all the yucky ones in one video. Let's just say this is not the half of it, what I show you guys. I mean, I've got a couple that, I mean, I don't even know if I want to do a video on them. I keep, dis I just keep, I just keep, I want to, but I don't want to, let's just say. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Okay, this one is uh, just more interesting and less creepy. Well, it's a little creepy. Not super, super creepy. I just saw this one a few days ago. I bet you haven't seen this. This is how sperm whales sleep. They sleep like these pogo sticks. They're that's how they sleep. It's it's kind of amusing because it's the opposite of, of humans. Humans stand up during the day and then they lay down to sleep. Well, I guess sperm whales lay flat all day and so they do this vertical thing when they snooze. So supposedly they found that out in 2008, I think it was. Um, but it just happens to be going viral now. But they usually sleep like this is the story. The heck is that thing? I'm afraid to ask what that is. I might not want to know what that is. So anyways, just kind of another weird sperm whale thing. You sound like Ma, we aren't ready for them yet, right? Cupy, um, I wouldn't say you're not ready for them. I just, I would say they're so gross that, that, um, you may not want to hear them for that reason. It's just it's just the the most gross part of the Emmy. I mean, there's some beautiful Emmy things, rainbows, butterflies. And there's also some really gross stuff. I mean, not a lot. I don't have a lot, but the ones that I have are um, just not. Can you change the display, please? What's what's wrong with the display? QP, that's how they sleep for my timeline. Really? Yeah, nope, not me. I came from a really boring timeline though. Really boring. Oh, that was for the spider. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Some people have spider phobias. I'll tell you, I'm not super scared of spiders, but I would not want to have, I would not want to see one of those things spreading its babies all over my wall. That, that would be a bit much even for me. The idea of all those millions of them. And I'm not even that scared of spiders. And I usually don't even kill spiders if they're, um, if they're the, not the web kind because they, they help control the other insects. But I, mean, I don't kill them outside, but in the house sometimes I'll get them. All right, so there's the sperm whales. I'm going to go now to this one. All right, I'm going to just go over some of my saved images. Um, I've just kind of gotten these images that I just save. So, there hasn't been a huge ton of change in this one. But right here, this guy, he's getting a little more hair, Lincoln. Just, it's starting to grow a little hair. I still haven't figured out what this thing is doing. It hasn't done much. But one thing I've really noticed is um, Washington has turned his head more towards, uh, that would be his, his right. He's really looking off this way now. He was looking forward before. Uh, pretty close to this guy, and and only Lincoln was off, but he's turned his head. I mean, he's actually turned his head. It sounds kind of weird to say that, but let's see if I can get it to, dang it, it did it earlier. I think it's because I changed the size. All right, I'll close you low. All right, I'm just going to run through some of the regulars here. Oh, now it'll do it. Um, this is Shiva at CERN. This head part here, right here, the headband part is a lot thicker and sticky out now. You can really see the skull on the top. And those are the changes I see there since last time. Uh, one more change I've totally noticed here is originally these little fires were all the same size and then last time I talked about it I said that the middle one had gotten larger than the side fires now the little one has a different shape than the side fires I, I think these might have had one more spike on them I think they might be a little simpler I am not a hundred percent on that but it definitely was that this center one here was the same size and shape as these for a while so that is one of the recent changes I've noticed on there. Um, okay, this is a side view of Washington. I'm just kind of watching his head poke out more. It's out a little further than it was last time. I'm watching him step out. I have this one to kind of keep an eye on the iconography of a Shiva. And you will see up here that it says this top thing is supposed to be the all-devouring form looming above is Mahakala Great Time. Now on the Shiva CERN one, that is still just flame. So I'm thinking that it will turn into this Mahakala thing, but hard to say for sure. I'm just kind of guessing. Okay, uh oh, better image there. You can see the hair growing. This right here, I think, is turning into hair now. It's a little bit different right in there side view I don't see a lot of changes in that side view um, here I'm not really seeing a lot of I see a little bit more red over here originally it was just here uh, here and here the last week or so I've been seeing red in these two spots so I don't know what that means also he got a little dot on his head and this little wiggly thing on his head his head used to be more simple uh, I'm not seeing an obvious change in here but with this close-up, I'm seeing this. The flames have these little pedestals now. They did not used to have these little pedestals. Uh, this I saw two, three weeks ago. There is a red dot in the back. Didn't used to be. And this thing right here has got like kind of a... It looks like it must be further away and it's, it's standing off a little bit. Uh, right there, different. This area here is getting a little more sophisticated than it was with this strap okay that just shows those guys again 
This this face looks like it might be coming out a little bit, but I'm not 100% on that. That's Lincoln. Okay, this one. Last Supper. Uh, Keokuk Monte brought this one up. Um, he brought up the pattern on the tablecloth. This one's confusing because the original in this timeline is so degraded that you can't really see hardly anything. So then you have to really, in order to see anything, you have to look at these kind of idealized versions. And each one is different, like these table legs are different on the different versions. Some don't even have this door thing. Um, so I've just picked this one and I use it over and over again. Now the, the differences I noticed just lately is there used to be four of these goofy feet table leg things here. There used to be one, two on each side and now there are only two total. Uh, that's pretty new. This guy's feet look weird. What Keo Cook Monte was noticing was that they have these blue patterns on the edge of the tablecloth. And he's correct, that used to be a white tablecloth. Uh, another thing that I noticed just recently now are these, uh, there's a knots on the end of the tablecloth that used to just drape, but now it is knotted. Um, I think that's all of them. Oh, you know, back here, the windows that's a little brighter and bluer back there. I'm not sure what the heck that blue is. That was not there last week. The blue part of, I mean, originally none of that was. There were no windows and it wasn't daytime. It was dark looking and there was a flame and and there was a low ceiling and it was all wood and it was totally different for me. But anyway, that's, um, I'm just going by the last uh, week or two or so of them. Also, I really think that there are some tiny little I don't know if that's supposed to be bread there. I mean, additional little tiny breads, I think, in there um, than there was like a week ago. Anyway, so those are the main changes I see. Let's see. I'm going to go back and see what you guys are up to. Lincoln's Fish shows now. Yeah, it was starting to show. It's a little stronger now. Next to Lincoln's head, there's a face whispering in his ear. Well, there's something. I don't know. There's something developing there. Eyeballs on Washington getting fine and young. Okay. It does seem like they're a little more uh, sharp, the eyeballs. Moving mountains, yay. Yeah, it says in the Bible, if you have faith, you can move mountains. Who knew that the Bible would be so literal? They weren't joking. Haha, ha, told you he would be looking same direction as Abraham because he was not before. Yes, I do remember you mentioned he, he turned his head. Probably because of what you said I've been watching more, but he had definitely turned his head a lot more in the last week. I think you caught it when it was still fairly subtle. Um, to me, it's getting real obvious now. Who you, if there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? Mandela Effectors. Yeah, I don't know what we can do about anything, though, but I can keep a sharp eye on it. I wonder what's to his right. Must be an interesting M.E. if he's willing to turn his head like that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they need more room so they can step on out of there. I remember one of the president's heads was close to coming off and is mounted on. I have not heard that and I have not seen that in any of the current timeline. Um, there's a chance it might be out there, but I kind of was researching this the last few weeks and I've not seen anything like that. Not to say it wasn't in some other timeline, who knows, but... I don't remember his head looking a different color than everyone else. Are we talking about, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's getting more, I don't know, blue colored. You're right. 
that is something that I kind of saw but didn't really process. Yeah, it does look um, like the rock has a more of a blue tinge to it. I mean, this is another one we were talking earlier about how stuff looks fake. It looks like photoshopped or CGI. This is an instance of it to me. It, it doesn't look quite right. I don't know how to describe it, but it just, you know, that would be like, like right here when it suddenly changes color. It doesn't look right to me. It's hard to put my finger on it, but. Looks like Shiva's belt cloth scarf thing is coming out of the circle from that angle. Let's see. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't know if it gets past the um, the edge or not. This one is not the CERN one. Oh, yeah. Good find. I do think that it is a little, yeah, yeah. Good, good observation. It is. It's impinging on the flames now. It is a little further out. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Also, I meant to, meant to, wanted to mention that the arm, this arm flowery blob things or whatever they are, those look a little more uh, developed. And also the dots here, there's something growing on the sides of the headband. I've been waiting to see what those are, but I can't find any close images of what the, these little guys are. But yeah, 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 it's getting, it's getting further out. I think we are at the end now. Yep, that was the last one. So that was from Keokuk Monty. Let me go back to the main thing now. Oh, let's see. There was something on the Sphinx. Hopefully I'll remember when I get there. Sphinx. Sphinx, Sphinx. What was it on the Sphinx? Oh, yeah. I remember one thing. Uh, this notch under the ear has gotten a lot bigger and more prominent. Um, who was it? Somebody mentioned this um, cementing. In this timeline, they cemented here underneath here to kind of shore this mess up. And this cement is kind of sticking out further and further on a regular basis. Um, here where there's this, this is, I just seeing this right now, actually. This I did not see a few days ago where uh, apparently there's a different plane of angle here that's reflecting the light on these two strips. I have not seen that. Let's see. The face with these diagonal lines is really a mess. Uh, this deep gouge above the nose was not there. Most of the eyes are missing now. Those are all fairly recent. What else? I, I think that's what I was going to say. There's probably something I forgot. And, and I apologize. I did not write down who mentioned that. It was like last week when I was looking at the Sphinx and I can't remember everything I was going to say. Um, one thing that's been true for a while now is this this side of the, heads, the head uh, contraption does not match. They're not symmetrical to this side. And it looks totally cheesy. Uh, my old one was just a lot better looking than that. The gouge is there. Ooh, you know what? This here looks different. This used to be just one solid thing. Now you've got this little brick contraption on top. So that's different. Anyway, some changes in the Sphinx. Okay, here's another one. Okay, here's another creepy one, because I know you all like it. All right, this one. We've been seeing a ton about, like, inundations of bugs. Invasion of biblical proportions prompts end of the world fears. I mean, I'm just seeing stuff like that all the time in the news of pictures of just a gajillion bugs somewhere. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to accept the cookies. Ugh. Alright, well, I'm not doing all that. Never mind. Let's try a different image. A giant mass of beetles invading Argentinian beaches has local citizens worried about the apocalypse. Everything is the apocalypse and zombies lately. I don't know if you've noticed, but... So I just... I'm seeing tons of images like this. I just never saw anything like this ten years ago. Beetles on the beach. I mean, stuff that normally spawns is just spawning ten times more than normal. It's pretty gross. And that wasn't even the one I was going to do. The one I was really looking at was... This one, Marble Beach. So they're making, um, these swarms of bugs are making bug tornadoes. I think I talked about this in Retconned a long time ago, but I'm not sure if I've done any in the videos, but there were some images of giant mosquito tornadoes in a couple of places. So these bugs are forming these tornado shapes here. And I think these are midges in this one. Anyway, just ridiculous amounts of insect swarming in this timeline. I noticed even here, I mean, we haven't had these biblical proportions, but there was some, um, the little, they're fuzzy caterpillars, they're black fuzzy. Luckily, ours aren't poisonous. I never even saw one near my house. I've been here about 20 years. I never saw even one. And I actually like fuzzy caterpillars because all the ones I've known are not poisonous, and so I thought they were cute. And we did have them up north, like hundreds of miles from here. I never saw even one near my house, not one. And then a couple years ago, there were just thousands. They were all over the walls. There'd be like five of them on each wall on the exterior. And then there was a newspaper article that, oh, an unusual winter caused an unusual breeding cycle of these fuzzy caterpillars. But what was weird is I'd never even seen one fuzzy caterpillar. And then we just had so many. And since that year, now we have some every year, but not as many. So I don't know what that means, but this swarming thing just seems to be a thing for this timeline. Speaking of bugs, one's bugging me. What you're seeing is the original design ones considered when they made Rushmore. Yeah, I saw that original design thing, but I to me that is likely an Emmy. I never saw that before. It came in with the, the new Mount Rushmore was the new original design. I've noticed a certain goddess thing in the Ring of Fire, when it, whatever in backgrounds... Yeah, that thing's really taking over. Um, I didn't. I didn't even know of it five years ago. There was just the, the blue female Shiva with the big boobs and the three sets of arms that would go like this. Um, there was no kicking. There was no crossing over of the arms. Um, there was none of that. That whole image is new for me. That whole that whole ring thing. Lincoln's hair getting nappy. Um, a couple weeks ago, Lincoln's hair was just rock. So actually, Lincoln's hair is growing into be hair-like is what I'm seeing. The other guys got their hair a couple weeks ago. Only Washington had decent hair, but he has gotten a lot more hair. So for me, the, the hair is becoming hair. Symbol on the back of the head is solar symbol. Are you talking about that little creepy guy under the Shiva Cern statue? Bubbles, bubbles, good evening. Good evening means goodbye, I assume, right? I mean, it could mean hello, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, it's it's a hello, good evening. Okay, good. I don't I didn't think I saw you posting yet. Holy Grail has left the left-hand wall. Yeah, the Holy Grail thing in the 
in the Last Supper, that's an Emmy that's different for everybody. For me, my original Last Supper looked very different, and there were no grails in that thing. There were wood, a couple little wood cups, nothing you would call a grail. The Holy Grail was a legend from, you know, the Knights of the Round Table. And that's the only place I'd ever heard of the Holy Grail. It was not in the Bible. It was not in uh, the Last Supper. It, and then the first Emmy I heard about that with the Last Supper is they said, oh, the famous Holy Grail is now in the Last Supper. And it was on the wall. Uh, then there was another shift. And, and now they're saying, a bunch of people are saying, oh, it's not on the table anymore. It never was on the table for me. But I'm aware that a lot of people remember it on the table but like I said my old timeline was boring I did not have a lot of good stuff a lot of stuff that uh, you guys remember as fact but just changed a bit was only legend for me and did not exist yes no grail originally then center on the Oh, see, I did not, Bilbert, I did not get the center on the table. For me, it was none, and then it was on the wall. And now it's just not really on the wall so much anymore. It's just, it's gone again, but sort of on the wall. I don't know. Yeah, I never got the center of the table when I, I skipped that timeline. Anyway, a lot of people have been saying the Emmys have been picking up, and they've been picking up since I learned about the Emmy for two years. So the idea that it's picking up is a, a very popular one. Many people mix Hollywood with history. Nobleness D, I'm pretty careful about that. Um, I even look into the reality of documentaries, uh, movies, and that kind of thing to see where they vary. So no, and when I'm talking, I'm not mixing Hollywood with history. Um, I know where I remember my stuff from. And if there are times when I remember stuff only from a movie and I didn't know. So in those cases, I can say I just saw it in the movie and I don't know. But uh, there was no... Um, I, I like the whole historical and myth and those kind of things so I'm pretty careful about keeping those separate sort of vague impression still left on wall it was very much there previously Bill Bird for me um, the Emmy was that it was vague on the wall um, it and you had to kind of look at it a little squinty and if you did it looked like the grail but I did not it was never on the table for me and uh, it was never clear anywhere in there for me. But, you know, like I said, a lot of people, there was a shift and then a whole bunch of people were saying that it was on the table, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I, I don't dispute that Emmy at all. It's just, it's just not the Emmy for me. Squares on the... Nathan Norbius, Eva, saw, you saw the new changes, squares on the table. Yeah, there was like fold marks and then there's those those blue patterns way on the edge. And uh, like I said earlier, there is uh, the knots, the, the, the edge of the tablecloth is knotted now. That one's one that I've noticed. Squares. Squares, people said it was bread. Okay, wait, I gotta go back. I thought you meant squares on the tablecloth, but all right. I see these squares. I'm gonna see if I can expand this thing a little bit. Now, keep in mind, there are different versions of this. See, now, this thing was what it looked like a holy grail for a while. Oh, another thing I almost forgot to mention. Uh, this red dots in here, that's new. That was not there last week. These were red dots and these black things. What are these even? These are, I don't even know what they're supposed to be. But anyways, uh, he said, for you kind of assume they were doors, but now with all this red garbage in them, they don't look like it. I don't, I don't even know what, what that is. And, and so the Holy Grail was kind of here. It looked like it was on a pillar before. Now these don't really look like pillars so much. Um, and then these are real clear over here. So it's getting confusing because the original now is so degraded. All right, so squares on the table, squares on the table. 
Now, other than these squares, like fold mark squares, which I do not remember, I agree with you there. Um, and then there's these ridiculous glasses here. And look at these little beaker looking things. You think this is a test tubes on the table or something. This is the most ridiculous table setting. There's tiny little dubas of bread. The plates are empty. I don't know. That whole table setting, it, it's just it's just weird. I thought bread now squares. Um you know there's a bunch of these tiny ones. They look like ping pong balls of bread. I don't know what they're going to call it. I mean, who makes bread that size? And they're rounded, so it doesn't look like they're bites. Look at what are those supposed to even be? Now, when I when Unimundi brought this one in, I, I saw like this size ones. I don't remember these. and I don't know. Is that supposed to be a fruit or what? I don't remember these tiny ones, though. I think those are really new. Like this little thing. What is that? Why are they all over the table? Why aren't they on a plate? You know, there's food on this plate, but you can't recognize it. Now, I remember it looking like chicken last time I looked. It look, it, they, they didn't look like gray sludge last time I looked. That one's it. Look at all these tiny little plates. Some of them look like they're floating there. Look at these plates here. Look at this one. I guess they're supposed to have feet or something, but I don't remember these raised spaceship plates. Yeah, there were no raised spaceship plates last, last week. That's a new one. I just saw that. Oh, gosh. Okay, hard to keep up. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to take a gander at the... See if I can find one that looks like the original. It's almost impossible to look at the original now. It's just so... I mean, here we go. What can you tell from that? Let's see if I can get it any larger. I mean, it looks terrible. I mean, this, it just degrades more every time I look at it. What is this? What is this square thing up here? You can't see anything from that. So that's why I picked that other. It's get, God, it's terrible now. This, it gets worse every week. I mean, you used to kind of be able to make out some stuff, but anyways, that's a mess. Goblet. Anyone remember goblets, not glasses? For me, it was little wooden cups. Everything was wooden. There were no glass. I'm not sure what you mean by goblets, but it was like little wooden things. Not anything, I, anything I'd call a grail. I just like little, humble, little, simple cups. tapestries which was popular in those days but it means secrets okay could be now but before they were looking like doors and, you, and this one it kind of looks more like doors and these for a while were looking a lot more like um like uh what do you call it um pillars and then we were saying oh the holy grail is on the pillar but now they look more like tapestries i mean Really, that painting is really just not, you can't even hardly tell what the stuff is back here. It's really not nearly as good a painting as it once was. Wasn't Jesus wearing white in the original? You know, I do... I do think that they were all wearing like plainer clothes back then. Whites. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Now that you mention that, 
I I didn't know it really well until I started watching it for the ME. So I know changes from like two years ago to now better than I know changes from from before then to two years ago. But I do have, and that would follow the pattern in the ME. A lot of things have gotten a lot brighter. Yeah, that's supposed to be the original. It, the, in this timeline, they're saying that the plaster flaking really bad and the thing is really disintegrating um, really bad. And it, it looks worse every time I look at it. The shot glasses are back to tumblers. I don't know, they still look like little glass shot glasses to me. Even they had unlearned... You wrote unlearned, but I assume you mean unleavened bread. So even if it's bread, it is wrong. Yeah, there was no bread on my original table for that. But yeah, I mean, we're kind of guessing that's bread. I guess it's bread. I don't know. It looks like cobbles. I'm assuming it's not cobbles. They are called Brochen in German. Brochen. Brochen. I might not get the spelling right, but I can look up the meaning. Brochen. Whoops. Nope, can't get the spelling right either. Brochen rolls. Okay, so it's sort of like a French roll looking thing. Yeah, could be. Who knows what old timeline says was bred for that era now, anyways. I mean, they may say that they had leavened bread back then, now. The bread was on plates a year ago. Could be that. I don't remember stuff all over the tablecloth, but I do have a vague recollection of some kind of hard-to-identify stuff on the plates. They've literally changed during this live stream. It does happen. I have seen flip-flops. I have seen things in a documentary. And then four hours later, the documentary repeats on TV. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch it again because I want to see this one little part. And I'll look, watch it again, and that part is different. Usually I want to rewatch it because there's some ME in there. So I've seen stuff flip-flop that fast, so it, it doesn't shock me. They were like wooden shot glasses. Yeah, that's what I remember for the, for the uh, glasses on the table. Wooden little cups, almost like shot glasses. Looks like some of the wine is orange. Doink. Yeah, yeah, good point. I mean, they're probably going to say that it, uh, yeah, it looks like punch. whole thing is weird. It looks like little... And that whole table setting just looks ridiculous. I don't even know. It just... it. Uh, the quality isn't very good. I mean, I guess they could say that they, they don't know what it looked like because the image is so degraded, but... Yeah, they look like, like little plastic cups and with Kool-Aid in them. Kids got bread all over the table. Yeah, I, I think now that you guys bring it up, I don't remember all those colorful clothes. I mean, Jesus and his clan were supposed to be humble. They were poor. You know, you don't expect um, them to look like Romans. Is Jesus looking a little more feminine in this pic? Yeah, yeah. He looks, uh, his lower chin looks a little, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? You're right. You're right. He does, he looks a little different. Yeah, yeah. Especially over, I don't know if that's just this last week, but the last month or so difference. I think, I think you're right on that one. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah I think so it looks like there's a weird thing going on with his chin too I mean I don't know if he's getting that like he doesn't have a beard on his like the beard is out in the edges but not right on the chin I don't know if that's, that's such a thing for this reality look at all these guys have it too they're not growing beards right on the chin it's like under the chin for a lot of these guys that's that's new for my timeline but I've already done a video on that so you guys probably know that spiel all right let's go on to some other things all right where am I here ah okay this one um I don't wake up early, so I'm going to have to ask you guys to watch for this. And I saw this. There's a channel I watch. What's that guy's called? M Mr. MBB333. I got it right this week. Last week I mangled his name. Or MRMBB333. Somebody uh, recommended that channel a while back, and I've been watching it. And he basically just covers kind of weird happenings, especially in the weather and uh, he was reporting on a lot of people reporting in about seeing the sun light come up quite a bit earlier than the actual sun. So like, you know, an hour, hour and a half before the sun is scheduled to rise, it was getting really light out. Seems to be kind of a pattern that the night is sort of getting eaten away. I mean, it, the, um, it's it's light when the moon's out, so light, the sky is light. Uh, then you've got the clouds now reflecting the light. You've got the red clouds. Now you've got the, the sunlight coming up earlier. It seems to be a pattern. Now I am usually snoozing because I'm kind of a night owl, so I can't say what's going on with the sunrises. But see what time the light shows up in the morning. Is it is it? what you remember i mean how how much earlier in the morning does the light come than when the sun rises any of you people who actually are awake at that hour look at the mona lisa okay you know that's one i should probably have a permanent picture of too remember there's a bunch of mona lisas so we have to get the right one these days Hopefully, uh, okay, the backgrounds changed a lot. This used to be dirt colored mountains back here. Now it's very green and kind of the sky. What's up with that? I think it used to be bluish. It looks now it's starting to look like Mars over there. Okay, that's the same, that's the same, that looks pretty the same. Uh, looks like there's something going on with her head here. She had come up with this scarf some months ago, but what what is on her head? It looks like there's going to be a little cap back here or something. Well, that's interesting. There's something on the back of her head now. That's not a very useful image. Let's see, what are you guys seeing? You see any changes in Mona? Look at, there's a close-up of the head. Something's going on right here that was not on there before. Now, I also remember her part being really sharp. Uh, it's a little fuzzy here. And it's a little, it looks a little offset. There's something going on right there. That used to be one of those super harsh... Um, really kind of sharp 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 now it, it it looks weird now let's see what's over here i don't remember this red stuff over here either do, 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 do. It just a little bit of a road. There was much more road going on. Looks like the road is fading out over there. Hmm. What do you guys see? Is 
She used to never smile. Yeah, the smile is a little more smiley. The enigmatic smile is now just a slight smile. It's not enigmatic anymore. That's an older ME, though. That's, you know, I'm not, I don't really cover, I don't really try to cover the really old ones because there's already been like 100 videos on that one. Yeah, what, what is that thing on her forehead? Um, she has a veil now, if that's what you're talking about. There's a little veil. That's an older ME for me, uh, at least a couple months old. That she's got this and uh, that line there, but what's I don't what's new for me is this this uh, something on the back of her head. It, it looks like she might have like a drape. Maybe it's just the results of the veil. But before you saw the veil, but her hair looked normal back there. Birds seeming to be louder. Could aging we become more irritable as we age? No, no. Uh, you yeah, know, I I'm not sorry. I'm not buying that one. Um, I. I sleep fine, and uh, birds, well, especially at night, they didn't used to make all that racket. The most irritating thing the birds are doing now is at night, they're shuffling around in the in the leaves looking for food, and that is super irritating because they're, like, right under my window, and there's, like, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Are the eyes smiling more? Not sure on that one. Let me see if I can find a decent close-up. That's not too bad. Hmm. I would say the bags under the eyes might be a little more pronounced. Somebody else mentioned she's got almost no eyebrows. She was always kind of like that for me. Uh, it may be a little more extreme in this timeline than, than before. The background is what really switches around a lot for me, though. A lot. What's this thing back here? What's this red thing? Oh, I think that might be supposed to be her chair, but... Yeah. Orion's bro was never attached to Sagittarius arm. Um for me, let's see. Alright, so for a while Orion's bro was attached to Sag. Now it's becoming its own um arm. So that is the latest Emmy. Because first we were in Sagittarius, then we were off on Orion. And Orion was a little kind of a little spr little finger off of Sagittarius. And then over time, Orion started hooking up with the neighboring one. But you know, all those arms, the shapes are changing. And if you look at it, let's see. I haven't looked at it in a while. Let's just take a gander at what it's doing these days. All right. What I'm seeing is that these two arms here are kind of taking over. This bar, you know, it used to be just a circle in here, but this bar is getting bigger and bigger. It was only about half that size two years ago. And uh, let's see. Scutum Centaurus arm. I don't recognize that word until just like the last month. So it looks like Scutum Centaurus and this arm here, which is the Sagittarius Perseus arm, I guess. Let's see what other people are calling it. Help me out here, people. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the only labeling one. Anyway, this other one here and this one are kind of taking over. And uh, everything else is, is sort of disappearing. Look at these ones are just breaking up in here. All right, we're supposed to be right here. Let's see if I can make this bigger. We're here. I think, okay, here's Orion Spur. In this image, it is a spur instead of an arm. This one, where I used to see it, actually kind of ran this way off of Sagittarius. Wait, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. 
dang it, it looks so different I'm actually pretty confused about it it doesn't it doesn't look close enough to what I saw last time that's the same one that's not helping me any too small okay you can really see it in that one though it's, these two arms are taking over Scutum Centaurus and uh, Orion Cygnus anyway yeah that that's going to take some studying to sort out Why are Mandela effect changes are all warped and twisted? Raphael Mandeville. I don't think they all are. I mean, I guess anything that's a weird, freaky change is going to be warped and twisted if you look at it a certain way. But, I mean, you've got rainbows and, all, and a lot of pretty stuff, too. So I wouldn't say they're all warped and twisted. All I see are flower motifs everywhere. I haven't noticed that one. Birds used to definitely fly away with cars coming that close. All the animals are losing their human fear. They just hang out like they're like they're stoned or something. I mean, I actually have to drive slowly and not run over rabbits because they just sit in the road. I've actually gotten out of the car and I almost ha I could probably tackle them if I made a leap and then they're just sitting there like like there's something wrong with them even some uh, hawk did that a, a few like about two years ago I thought it was injured but it just stood there and they don't look at me they look out into the like into space I mean I'm used to wild animals at least should be eyeballing me nervously no, they, they're just staring out into space. Oh my God, the bird's trying to fly into my car. Um, I don't know if you've had this, but I've been here about 20 years, and about six years ago, I started having big problems with these male birds in the spring slamming against my window that I guess they see the reflection and they get angry and they're trying to kick their own reflections butt and they'll do it for hours I never had that happen before ever and then it was like every spring for a while you have to put like covers on your windows or slam the windows there's all it's so and they start at the crack of dawn slamming on your window I think that one now in retrospect I think that is Emmy related because I just my whole life, I never had a bird poking on my window repeatedly. They hit my house windows. Okay, now I've had birds, even when I was a kid, not see a window and slam into it. Uh, we had huge picture, picture windows when I was a kid, so it was fairly common. I mean, they might be dumber now and do it more, but I... Um, the only problem we had was we had a hummingbird feeder near the near the window, and if I open all the curtains, they sometimes slam into the window. But I, you know, that's a new that's a new fountain, so uh, that's a new feeder from the last few years. So I can't compare it from from long ago. But once I keep my curtains shut, or at least enough that they can see there's curtains, they don't do it. And they also make like a strip that you can put on your windows that the birds can see. And uh, that'll also help cut back on window slamming, supposedly. Okay, so where are we? All right, so watch for the early sunrises. If any of you stay either stay awake that, early, that late or, or wake up that early, when does the sunlight show up for you compared to when the sun is supposed to come? Okay, this one. All right, if you guys remember Sanford and Son, this is a weird one because for me, he was Red Fox, R-E-D-F-O-X. 
But in this timeline, Mr. Oh, this is the big one. Red Fox has got two D's and two X's. And this was from somebody on uh, Redconned. It was from Crackle D Man. But he was actually making a joke because he actually remembers it with two D's and two X's. And I, I don't. To me, that looks absolutely ridiculous. Two D's, two X's. I remember only certain species of birds would do that in the spring, blue jays being one. You know, all I can say is it never happened, and then it started happening every freaking spring. I mean, I had to put towels on my car rear view windows, mirrors, because they were banging the heck out of my mirrors, and they would damage themselves. They, they would poke so hard they would injure themselves. They were actually managing to make some scratches on the mirrors. And you could hear them out there. So I don't know. All I can tell you is I think it's pretty weird that I never had it once happen in my entire life. And now I have it happen every spring almost. Quantum Affected Life. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks for coming. Just like Adam's family is now Adams with two Ds. Exactly. Uh, that I just didn't have all these extra letters in my old timeline. Um, there was no um, Diane spelling with two Ns. I had never seen that. Then about 15 years ago, there was this trend where everybody was naming their kids with goofy spellings. And so I thought it all started then. But, you know, um, our senator of California, Diane Feinstein, has two N's. And she's, like, older than time. So that that name of hers, that was there was no double N's in my old timeline. So if, if it was only the young kids, I can just say, oh, well, that was a trend of goofy spellings. But, no, she's older than I am, Diane Feinstein, way older. And she has the double N's. So those double ends went back in time for me. It's 1.42 a.m. here, so the sun will show up soon. The sun shows up at 1.42 a.m. over there. I wonder when the light shows up. I just think we're losing our nighttime. You know, and if you look in the Bible, they... They say something about not needing lights anymore and the, the the light of God and all that. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to make of it because not every change I see looks really godly. But So, yeah, actually, it's 1.45 a.m. here also. So we're on the tame, same schedule. Really? So the sun's coming up soon? I try to get to bed before the sun rises because I, I have trouble falling asleep when it's light. Yeah, yeah, Diane Feinstein is older than time. She's always been the senator as long as I cared about who the senator was. So it just, she just... And even when it's dark, we get the luminous glow. Yeah, and the, the clouds have a weird glow to them. You know, it used to be the clouds would be darker than the sky, but now they're, um, because they would blot out the, the stars and make the sky darker, but now the clouds are lighter than the, the sky at night, and the sky at night is like bluish or, or gray. Interesting. Feinstein is one end. Well, I'm checking because I last time I checked, she was two ends, and I was I was totally laughing Diane fine uh, see I try to type in one N and it immediately corrects me to two N's for Diane Feinstein it looks ridiculous Senator Diane Feinstein I saw this probably uh, maybe a year ago but there she is that looks totally ridiculous to me I mean whatever you want to think about her uh, that name is not right so yes two ends diane 
I doubt she legally changed her name. Why would anybody legally change their name to, to having an extra N? There is out. There's just no reason for it. I don't know. Maybe in the next two shifts we'll hear that everybody adds digit uh, letters onto their name. But so that username is not available. Yeah, it's two N's now. Didn't she retire in 2016? Not in my timeline, and apparently not in this one. She's still kicking around. T-Box. Yes, Diane. Oh, I'm glad somebody remembers. I, I actually was talking about that at Redcon, and nobody knew anything. I don't know if, you know, if they're not from, if they're not from California, they probably wouldn't know, but. Hell, all Dems use false name are also part of CIA. You know what? Um, I'm not going to go into the Republicans versus Democrats baloney. I think it's divisive. I don't trust either of the parties. I think that they both lie a lot. I think that, that each party spends all their time pointing out the lies of the other party instead of fixing their own lies. And so I really have no time for either one of them. So that's my attitude about politics. I, I think that, that basically they have a squabbling over politics while, like all the higher-ups of both parties, are robbing the hen house. So that's my opinion about politics. I hate them all equally. I think the minute we start with the Dems this and the Republicans that, you're already on the wrong track. You're already falling for the scam. Vampire movies don't make sense anymore. Raphael Mendeville. Um, I'm not sure they made a ton of sense before, but <laughs> you better help me out because I'm not sure uh, what you mean by that. There's a part where they are doing an autopsy on a new type of vampire. Its heart moved to the center and is surrounded by thick bone. Yeah. Well, you know, current timeline, you've got that big center bone here and the ribs... The ribs are flattened out like linguine noodles now. They used to be rounded for me. Um, so the, the heart is better protected, definitely. Divide and rule, it's all faked and controlled. I do think that it's very divisive to go down the route of the politics. I think we've got to uh, try to avoid going down the road of um stereotyping everybody, Dems this, Republicans that, uh, demonizing the other side. Now, I know a lot of really good Republicans. I know a lot of really good Democrats. There's a few extremists, and then they're trotted out, um, and then everybody says that all the other side are like the extremists, and that's just not right. Well, I think we really got to watch that. I think that's the trap. I really do think that's the trap where we demonize everybody. I mean, you have to look at, you can't say liberals this and, and GOP that. I think you have to look at each person as a person. Yes, ribs flatter. Yep, the linguine noodles. there was a way so that it didn't I'm trying to read the um the chat but it just jumps right when i'm in the middle of reading a sentence it jumps and then i got to scroll it i wish it would just go slowly well yes where i was new zealand was one and it was mid north above australia um yeah are we talking about the new zealand me where it was one island i agree with that it was one island to me it was uh, just to the east of australia and I did a whole report on Australia, and I, I had some stuff about New Zealand in there. And it was, I had to draw it on the map. I had to draw my own map of it. It was one island. Anyway, I don't want to go all into the politics thing. I think it's just a dead end. 
All right, so what's next on the spiel here? Gosh, it's already 150. All right, I got through to that one. Jeez, I'm only on page two. Okay, Target logo. No, I don't think I'm going to get through all of these. There's just no way. I got through that one. All right, I'm gonna. Some of these are gonna have to go for another day. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to cover this Target logo one. Target logo. The link. Now, who was it that mentioned Target logo? Somebody kind of said something about Target logo. And I swear somebody has covered this before. Some people remember it more like this one here with a bunch of rings. And then it was, for me, it was two red rings not long ago, like this one. Ooh, somebody covered this. Mandela Effect, top 10 new Mandela Effect. Okay, somebody did cover it. It was like this for me. So here, then here. Now it's like this. Okay, so someone did cover that. I looked a, a couple days ago, and I didn't find anything. But uh, So, yeah, this is definitely an ME for me. It is now just a dot. So it doesn't look like... It used to look like target practice, but now... Anyway, so I wanted to cover that one. So that one is covered. Da, 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 da. Okay, I wanted to cover this thing. I'm going to just get this last one in. All right, so this creature here I have never seen before. It is called a bear cat, and it smells like popcorn. Observed creatures. Let's click on this one and see what we get. Get past this advertising. The binturong has a prehensile tail, crazy feet, excrete a scent that smells like popcorn. Just call it Orville Smellenbacher. All right, here we go. Look at that thing. It's cute. Yep, it's real. Uh-huh. Yep, it's real. Anyway, so this little beast is new for me. If it was there before, it, it, it was definitely not interesting like this. Cute little tufts of hair. Smells like popcorn. So there, now I'm going to end on a sort of cute looking guy, just so you won't have any nightmares tonight. See, that isn't that, it's, it's kind of cute. Look, it's got a big fluffy tail. Is that one also? I'm not even sure. I can't say I'm an expert on these things. Kind of a slow musing guy. I'm going to look up. Up more info on them. Bearcat, also known as the Binturong, is a viverine mammal. Wow, is that the whole wiki? All right, I must be missing something. All right, let's look at Binturong. Okay. Of course, it has a declining population trend. Not for me. It's brand new. Every brand new creature that shows up here, they're always saying it has a declining in, uh, population and it's about to go extinct. So now when I hear that it's about to go extinct, I'm like, Psh, whatever. Related to neither bears nor cats, but to palm civets of Asia. Anyway, they're really cute. And I think I'll end on there. If I go over two hours, that they, they cut my video up, and it takes forever for the front to show. So I wish dogs smell like popcorn. Yeah, maybe cotton candy if I'm picking dog smells. Otherwise, yeah, I think I could go with some cotton candy dog. Man, bear, pig. Meerkat. Yep, bear cat. All right, so where do these bear cats live? Good question. India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Yunnan, Sumatra, 
Callie Mantan. Callie Mantan. Callie Mantan, I think, is a new part of Sumatra. Yeah, right there. I uh, see that red up at the top. Uh, that is a, a new part for me, Cali Mantan. Sumatra was way tire, tinier, and it did not have Cali Mantan in it. That's something I noticed recently. Java and Indonesia, Palawan and the Philippines. So there are in a lot of places. These are not rare, although their population is supposedly declining. Anyway, they don't have them in Australia, but still. I know they kind of look like they belong there. Red pandas are cuter. Yes. Yes, red pandas are an older Emmy, but still an Emmy for me. And they are super cute. And supposedly the story now is that the um, Firefox, the uh, program for computers, is named after red pandas, which are called Firefoxes. So did the red panda come first or did Firefox come first? That is the question. Chicken or egg? Rob, Ronan the voice. Super late to the party. Better late than ever. Well, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm just getting ready to check out. It's been two hours. It's 2 a.m. I can see the light from the sun coming up for at least 20 minutes, and it's 3.56. Way too early. My wife and I were just talking about this, and then you made that comment. Yeah, that was from a MR... BB333, uh, he noticed that. Well, his people, his, he has a big, big channel. Well, I mean, I guess it's not millions, but he has a, a pretty big channel. Headless chicken or egg, yeah, right. So anyways, yeah, when does the sun light show up? I mean, how much nighttime do we have left? Because... I know in in winter it was at least twelve hours we used to have of nighttime. I don't. I just don't think we have that anymore. The sun takes so long to set; it comes up early. Ronan, the voice. Yeah, sorry you missed it, but you can always watch it in the replay. Uh, by it takes about fifteen or twenty minutes to render it, and then the then the um, YouTube will put it back up and will be there, so you can watch it tomorrow. But thank you for trying, and uh, I think I'm going to scroll up here and shut down the live stream. So thank you all for coming. Thank you.